Hello guys, I'm Kate and I'm an English learner and it's so nice to have you here in my English learning space. Welcome to my English fluency path. It's going to be a short and sweet video about some useful vocabulary that I used in my previous one. As you know, repetition is never superfluous. So let's get started and try to expand our vocabulary a little bit by highlighting some interesting and beneficial words and phrases. Due to my experience, I review these new words, collocations and phrases after a little while and put it into practice. And sometimes I even create such a separate video like this. So this is more likely for me to remember these phrases and uh, then use them in my day-to-day -day speech. So this is how it works for me. So let's begin with the word renewed. Renewed is happening again after having stopped for a period of time. It can be renewed interest, renewed energy, renewed enthusiasm. And I personally use this word when I told you that recently I started learning English with renewed energy and enthusiasm. The next one is the verb to accomplish. To accomplish means to finish something successfully or to achieve something. You can accomplish your work. You can accomplish your task. You can accomplish a lot of things. At the same time, you can accomplish nothing. As for me, I wasn't able to accomplish my English learning process and achieve my English fluency finally. Uh, but hopefully, I'll be able to fix this in my very near future. To quit is the next verb. To quit means to stop doing something, to leave a job or a place. For instance, you can quit your job or school. You can quit smoking. You can even quit worrying about something or someone. What about me? I used to quit learning English and switch to something else. And here, right away, is another interesting word, to switch. To switch means to change something suddenly or completely, especially from one thing to another, or to exchange by replacing one person or thing to another. And as I said, I would quit learning English and switch to my some other hobbies. The next one is the word necessity. Necessity, it is a need for something. It is something that is needed. So as you know, knowing English is a necessity today. To perceive. To perceive means to come to an opinion about something or to have a belief about something. For example, they perceive me as an intelligent person. Or, how do you perceive your new role? And as I told you in my previous video, I perceived Hedar exclusively as a teacher and a coach. The next one phrase I'd like to pay your attention to is the phrase kindred spirit. Kindred spirit is a person who has the same opinions, feelings, interests as you. For example, my husband and I recognized each other as a kindred spirits as soon as we met. And who is your kindred spirit? Let me know in the comments below. The next one is the phrase upside down. Upside down is having the part that is usually at the top to be at the bottom. For example, take this box Turn it upside down and shake it. Or, one of a sudden, my understanding of learning English and achieving English fluency has completely turned upside down. The next one is the word instantly. Instantly means immediately, right now, right away. So you can make your decision instantly. Or you can make your instant decision, like me, when I instantly decided to create my YouTube channel. By the way, this is an instant coffee that dissolves instantly. 
let's take a closer look to the word irresistible. Irresistible is impossible to refuse, oppose, or avoid because it's too attractive, pleasant, or strong. As for me, I have an irresistible desire to learn English and passion for it. The next one is a very useful and beneficial phrase to get fired up with something. To get fired up with something is feeling very excited about something or impatient to do it. As you understood, I got fired up with the idea of creating this channel. To pop up. To pop up means to appear or occur suddenly. For example, these memories can pop up from time to time. And when it comes to this phrase, in my previous video, I told you that some words, collocations and phrases and even whole sentences uh, after I had learned them uh, sometime earlier, it just popped up in my day-to-day -day speech like from nowhere. That was it, you guys. And I hope that by refreshing and reviewing these words and phrases, we will be able to turn them into our active vocabulary. So click the subscribe button, give this video a like, have a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you later. Bye!